everybody my name is Alex today we review the Windir stat application which is free it's distributed under the GNU license and this application allows you to scan your whole hard drive and understand what takes all of this place so let's see what it does welcome to free software that works this is the software that works and it's only half a megabyte big right now it's scanning my hard drive so in order to understand what are the files that are located on it what is their relative size what kind of files those they are and then later I can just see what is the visual representation of those files and make decisions about should I clean the page should I just let it be should I back up and then wipe everything all those scenarios are important once you understand what is it that you need to do so right now we are at the 53 and 46 percent of our scan so I will pause this video and meet you in a second so we are done scanning and this is what you see right now you see on the left side my disk C and on the right side my disk D basically two partitions of my hard drive and immediately I see something really weird basically you see a table at the top which shows you all of the distribution of gigabytes of your space and immediately see that the first folder is windows.o and this is really interesting because I upgraded my laptop to Windows 10 three months ago from Windows 7 and I thought that I have removed the old installation because well I have no use for it for it no point in archiving it or using it at all because it came with the laptop and I just don't need it Windows 10 is working fantastically and immediately I see that the Windows old is actually an unnecessary folder and this folder occupies the most space on my disk C now this is fantastic I, I get to save all this space just by running this application and this is not, not expected I was expecting to see some other Windows files that might be a problem but it isn't so Windows old you are going down let's you know what let's do it right now Windows dot oh here you are shift delete hopefully it would work yes continue preparing to delete of oh, you require permission for system all right cancel so instead what this is what we're going to do you just go to your cmd run it as administrator yes and then you go do dell uh, c slash windows dot old yes please boom it's gone hopefully let's refresh so we got Windows all oh, users public so all oh, the subfolders left uh, I don't remember the exact way to delete all of those uh, subfolders so we are going to do it from our window here hopefully it would work no it doesn't work come on so this didn't work either so we need to open the we need to open a new window as a administrator we are gonna do it later so this is one of those ways now another thing that you see all of those extensions separated uh, basically a file extension a description of the file extension itself and how much gigabytes are occupied by this specific thing so we here we see that 13 gigabytes and immediately anything that you select is getting highlighted immediately so this is a presentation of my old disk C and I see that the AVI files are taking 13 gigabytes probably the AVI files are my video recordings and uh, let's give let's have a look what happens if I press this purple disk complete some, all right so this is a download of my uh, yeah so my old computer so and we, when you go to disk D and I want to see only this disk D. So this is disk D. And I see that some other files that I uh, downloaded, some cores are occupying all the space. So no need to delete those. But tons of them are right here. See, all those chunks are my recordings, and probably I don't need them that much. But my D drive is actually pretty, it's all right. It's all right. No need to delete it at all. So 
now I know what is occupying the whole space. And now I get to actually save some of it. And just to give an example, so I had a Windows Alt here that occupies all of those nice 25, 21.5 gigabytes. The thing is, I have actually a backup of the whole drive because, well, I'm a little bit paranoid and have those 32.4 gigabytes of backups for my Lenovo computer, which includes the freaking Windows 7 backup. So, by removing the first one, I actually make the second one smaller on the next backup. So, I saved a ton of space. Hopefully, you did so too. I really advise running this tool once a month and just verifying what's going on with it. With your hard drive, what can you do, What can? how can you speed the things up. Hopefully, you like this video. If you like to see some more, just Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and share. I'm e-begging here. Please share <laughs> and see you in the next video.